I'm gonna, no, show these guys a spot. They might go try to sit one of his spots. And I'm gonna just go show him a couple Wait, more. Sharing his spot? He liked these guys. <laughs> I know, exactly. You had to pass the test. <laughs> Got walleye. Oh, yeah. That's money. Three some and some some breakfast bones. sausage. So what are they doing out there then? They're taking down cattails. Just the low spots where we didn't, where it was black, yep. it was too wet to seed this year, so we yep. didn't get it seeded. So we're gonna get it cleaned up to maybe get a chance to seed it next year. Yeah. yeah, you just hit that with one pass, and that's all that seed. Yeah. It turns it black. I gotta take probably, my sweatshirt off. Probably just split up tonight and try to keep eyes on some of these good spots you're showing. I would go to this spot, and that spot Bo showed you for sure. Can you take the wheel? Yeah. I run warm. <laughs> what time did you get home last night? Four <laughs> this morning. Yeah, I had eight o'clock, eight thirty basketball. And lucky I didn't get kicked out of the gym. They weren't calling travel. It's hard. Yeah. How much has this changed since you were a kid? Like just the landscape in general. Nothing. It's pretty. It's always been just that like that house gone. Yeah. On this road so far. Yeah. These things. Have been was there a lot more fence rows or anything when you were younger? Or just... No. There was more CRP when I was younger, but now it's the government's not paying. Yeah. Very much for CRP. Yep. So people are, and farming practices have changed, mm -hmm. where they don't work the ground black, so that lighter soil won't blow. You, you leave stubble on it all year. Yeah. And it, it works. Yeah. Those are good eating. There's a lot more of those around today. Then, it seems like. Then, then partridge. Uh oh. What's up, Doc? You out in the field? I'm just showing my buddies a few hunting spots. They're trying to get a deer. Wait, you need, a, oh. you need a ride or something or what? No, I just went by. I'm gonna jump, jump in the mower. I had a few things to do this morning. Riley, what's shaking? Well, not much, man. This got uh, tailgating at minus speed. Oh, well, you should be at the bison game. I didn't stick a deer. We're just, I just drove by my dad's, my mom's pasture there, and we're just driving by your place here. Oh, I got, okay. Well, geez, I, got, I mean, if you did, if you did, buddy, it would be no big deal for me if you went in there to get it. I wouldn't care. How about if there's one right on the edge? If there's one right on the edge, well, hey, okay. if it's uh, if it's that big and you're there at the right time, you uh, you do it. That sounds good, Riley. And if you I do get it. something, I'll, I, I'll send you a picture and I'll buy you. What's what's your favorite whiskey? Well, my wife doesn't want me on whiskey anymore. Okay, what's your favorite beer? <laughs> I sell some bush light. All right, I'll get probably like three or four racks. What else you been doing? Not much. Just kind of wrapped up farming, and now we're just trying to get the ground in shape for next year. Now I'm, okay. I'm actually I'm driving around with some guys. They make hunting videos. They're from out of state, and they're they're really cool guys. I'm just showing them a few pretty pretty good spots. Take a shot of whiskey for me. Don't let your wife see you. Okay, sounds good, man. Tell her okay. Red Viper approves. <laughs> All right, sounds good, man. Later. Bye. There we go. Got some intel and some rights. Yeah. <laughs> good enough. That's how we do it. <laughs> Ian. Yes. Are you guys still farming that <laughs> land? Yes. I got some buddies up from out of state. They got a bow tag. I might put them in that that, that corner of my pasture my mom owns. Right to the... Oh, oh yeah. Oh, right by there. Yeah. Yeah. You would, yep. You don't care if they tried to stick one over there, would you? No. You, uh, are you going to the football game? Yeah, are you going to be there? I think so. I'm going to go up to it. Yep. I can introduce you there. Green light. Go for it. Later. Yep. See yeah, bye. Nobody says no to Red Viper. <laughs> <laughs> I'm driving around with these, uh, some, some good guys that are out of state. I'm by that grandma's quarry. You guys farm that land? Yep. Would you care if they went on that sometime? Nope, go for it. Okay. It's, what are they hunting? Well, they got a they got a, a deer tag with a bow and arrow, but oh. they stalk on their belly. And they, they, they try to catch up, sneak up to them. Oh, yeah. Get her done. I mean, they're out there roughing it in tents and cooking on an open flame, and so I kind of liked them, so I... I that. I drove through there the other night, and I'm like, who the hell's out here? <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, good. How was the party last night? Just stay. It was wild. I, I lost a tooth. She wants back in there. Yeah. <laughs> Daddy in there. Mm -hmm. I lost a tooth. I almost decapitated my leg. I tripped on Bo's oh. bobcat bucket, and I hit my head yeah. on his tire, and I was laying on the ground for like five minutes. Oh, <laughs> I got a pounding headache. Oh, Jesus. Well, yeah. sounds like a good time. Yeah, these guys actually make hunting videos and they make money on YouTube. This is what, this is their job, their profession. 
Well, send me their YouTube link so I can look them up. Hunting the public. No. Uh, the hunting public. You just search on YouTube, hunting public. Hunting, hunting public, public ground. Right? Okay. What is it? <laughs> what is it? The, the hunting public. The hunting public. Told you I'd remember. <laughs> right? They already got you there. Yeah. You're hunting dancing all the around it. Public? Hunting the public. Is it? The hunting public. The hunting public. <laughs> the hunting public. Okay. Lahi. You're still drunk. Lahi, you're already in the bottle again? So we've been in North Dakota for three days. I think this is our fourth day. Mm -hmm. Been pretty slow to this point. Just seen two decent bucks. Haven't got real close to them, but we've been doing some editing at the diner in town here, and we just have been talking to locals. Our first trip around, we've met a bunch of people that were super friendly. We were super friendly with them. Just kind of got to talking to them just about every day. And then this time around, we've been hanging out at the diner, and we met someone who we're going to he goes by the Red Viper. That's all we're gonna say because we don't want everybody looking up exactly <laughs> where we're at. Don't want to make it too easy for folks, but he's been super helpful. He, he took us around today. He's just a local farmer who's done harvesting and he had some time and he just took us around to a bunch of spots that he thought might be good. Introduced us to a couple of his friends and they said we could hunt on their place. I don't know, it's pretty cool. Feels like, you know, it's about about what it seems like it used to be like 20 or 30 years ago. We talked to the Red Viper's cousin and he said he's been seeing a real nice buck come up out of this draw. So that we're gonna take that information, we're gonna run with it. It's really close to where we've been hunting. It's yeah. Like borders where we've been hunting. Yeah, so. I'd imagine it could be one of the same bucks that we saw earlier in the year, so. Oh, you were dropping waterfowl and turkey pins. No, <laughs> I wouldn't do that. No, I totally. <laughs> Honestly. As soon as we leave, you can just start sneaking your way down there. Mm -hmm. See if you can get within range of yeah. one. Just pick your way through that corn, look for sign, bring that decoy with you, and we'll meet you either right there or right there. Mm -hmm. And you might just, you know, walk 20, 30 yards in and come down by us eventually. Mm -hmm. Try to keep entirely too many people out there, you know, to get one boat Basically, killed. Basically, what he said to me, Zach, was, Nick, don't go over there and be an idiot. <laughs> and you, I know I didn't have to tell you that, but I just do anyway. He had to tell me. <laughs> What's that? Yeah. Is he giving me lip? Huh? Oh, it's lit. <laughs> We're gonna sneak through this cornfield. We got perfect conditions to do it. It could be windier. <laughs> Shoot okay. the wind in our face, and there's been a pretty high number of deer just around this area that we've seen. So I'd imagine at some point tonight we'll run into something where we'll have the wind in our face for over a mile. So just keep walking until we do run into one. Let us participate in the hunt. That's a good moose down there. That's something real tall in the dark. I'm just a pack mule.
decoy up where you can see it at some point and get the attention on you. I don't know yet. Okay, I'm going to peel around and get on this side of this fence and just so I don't have to shoot through. extra time I was just like low forward low forward low forward I had no idea he was that close I couldn't see nothing for where I was at. I was watching y'all and when I was you drew back I was like why is he aiming so low I didn't realize he's right here I thought he was over there <laughs> Mommy, the bull oh, hunter's got one. The bull hunter's back. Called <laughs> he called it. He's just like the most on a whim type hunt that we've had this far. It's just like everything else has been like, I mean, it's always kind of rammy, but there's like a, a method to the madness. Like we got a, a way to sneak on him. Like we've been using that bivy a bunch and just haven't been seeing the bucks this time around. <laughs> so we got permission to do a bunch of stuff. Had the right conditions. Like yeah, it's literally the public we've been hunting. It's like on the yeah. other side of that. We probably filmed this back. <laughs> that was that was a close one. I've, I've never come up on one and been like, oh, right there. But it's just like the conditions could be more perfect. Was, whenever you range or look at him, did he like see you right nope. then? Oh right. yeah. Did when you drop down real When quick? I killed him, when I killed him, he was looking at us. Okay. When I killed him. <laughs> when we killed him. We killed him, boys. Dude, go to spot right there. Like, Jake just comes up and he's like, there's a buck bed right over there. Hey, hey, you wadded him up like a wet napkin. He didn't I've go nowhere. So he's right there. <laughs> he just died right there. Just, he literally... didn't take a step. He just went backwards. It was just like. <laughs> 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 That's so 
of the coolest I've ever been a part of right there, dude. <laughs> We're going duck hunting in the morning. We got a lot of people to thank for this one. They're going to be happy. Yeah. We got to get Red Viper on the horn. <laughs> hey, tell him we need to spread in that field over there because we want to shoot them in the morning. <laughs> I heard him hit and I heard him like, wow. So in my brain, I was like, oh, he's spying him because I was looking for him to be running up there. But when I saw you turn around and fist bump, I was like, oh, no. He's just right there. <laughs> Oh, he's actually dead right here. Holy cow, dude. <laughs> 6.37. The footage should just be straight so awesome. <laughs> I was in blackout mode, so I don't know if this is exactly right, but I think he just started coming towards Like, Yeah, he did. He was starting to come towards us, and I drew when he started moving. And then I just had to, I had to rise up, and he just was... I've rushed that shot so many times. Yeah. Like I took so so long. Like if he runs, he runs. Yeah. Like hold it low, hold it forward. You'll be there again. Yeah. That's what I've been thinking. It's like you'll be there again. Yeah. Just take it's, the time. The, it's the shot that I messed up last year in South Dakota. Just didn't take near enough time and hit him high. I'm happy about that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, here yeah, we should watch that. Right? <laughs> I'll just sit back there, video, and my hand, I can feel my whole body shaking. <laughs> oh, he's right here. Nick called it. He's just like, watch this. It's gonna be the one. It took me a minute to get on him, but then I was zoomed in on him right when he stood up. No That's big deal. sick footage of him laying there too. Yeah. Through the quiver. And he was right down the THP adapt. Hey, <laughs> 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 right in the kitchen, buddy. <laughs> he said, I'm gonna get out, but no, I'm actually not moving ever again. <laughs> Watch out. <laughs> Dude, what a day. <laughs> Have a day. Hey, after the after the nine man. After the nine-man playoff, playoff game. We had a little bit of playoff football. We were at a playoff football game just about an hour or two ago. <laughs> and that's how we got permission to this. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, I wish, they, I wish I had a film best going to that football game. So this is just the Bucks' perspective, obviously. Yeah, you weren't even that high up. Probably not. No, definitely weren't. I like having this thing here, though. It's like, I don't know that it makes that much of a difference, but it's something, you know, that's breaking up right, right at the skyline for him. So he definitely saw us, but might have bought us that, that extra time where I could take the time to make the shot. I think that the one important thing was, and maybe it doesn't matter at all, but I didn't, I don't think I wrote, I don't, I didn't draw until he started moving. And I feel like if they're moving, it's harder for him to pick up on, you know, especially the, I mean, that's kind of the perk of the single cam too, is just like that smooth draw where I don't have to go like this or anything. It's just like, I can have the bow right here and it's just back. And then I just got to rise up. Like you had very minimal movement. Yeah. And that's, that's the reason that we went with that. One of the big reasons, the tunability. And I just really like the smooth draw cycle probably more than the tunability. So there's your plug. <laughs> there's your plug for the THP adapt. And I said, Zach, don't. Don't tell me you're on him unless the bow's in the shot. <laughs> and he nailed it. <laughs> what an awesome spot to kill one too. Uh -huh. This is this is cool. The old coolie. It's Saturday, isn't it? It is. The bull hunters are back. The bull hunters are back. <laughs> the bull hunters are back. Go look at him. Good job, guys. That was sweet. <laughs> mm. No deck, baby. North Dakota number two. We might have to clean them up a little bit before we <laughs> really show them to you guys. Well, but Jake just shot that buck right here, and this is the blood. And he was bedded right here. <laughs> Two yards from his bed. That's crazy. I, wonder, I had him range for 25, but I shot him for 20. Ash did drop a lot still, didn't he? Yeah. At 15 yards. Yeah, I'll be interested to see if he wheeled that way or which way he wheeled too. I don't think he did much before it hit him, but no, he definitely got down. 22 yards is what it was. Yeah, I figured he's a little closer. Mm -hmm. I think I was ranging. 
trying to range this some too, and that was saying 30. So I knew it was just a hair closer than 20, and I figured if he was looking at us like that, just shoot him for 20. Get this tag up. That's the bull tag. White tailed deer, bull. Oh, it took a little face paint. That'll eat. I think that's good. <laughs> Tagged up. All right, it's going. Boo, y'all. Check it. Nick, tell us what you think. Oh, it looks dumb. <laughs> Does it? Yeah, I'll do another one. <laughs> Why is it look dumb? I don't know, it's just waiting another one. <laughs> the classic father-son photo. <laughs> Well, let's go get the knives, boys. Yeah. You don't think we can just drag it straight up that line? We can. I think we might be able to do it pretty easily, huh? Got him and drag it. Yeah. Let, let, me have a, let me have a look here. Oh, hang on. Let me send this to Ted. We can drive it. Can we get a ride? You boys need a ride? The mole hunters are back. The mole hunters are back. I mean, put it on him. <laughs> I didn't run into any moose on the way out, but that was nice. We were seeing very for you. Hey, I was head on a swivel and light footing out of there. One of the locals just brought us a trailer of firewood just because he's just like, you guys are staying down there with no heat. <laughs> didn't yeah. even ask him. <laughs> yep, get rid Got that 50 feet, Nick? I'm trying to get a rock to tie around it. That's how that goes. Just kind of help him a little bit, Nick, if you can. Hopefully this limb comes down. Hey, I just said the other day, I don't think I've ever killed a deer with three people. No, you did yeah. say that. No, yeah. Yep. I turned to you and do something stupid, don't mm -hmm. you? No, like right when I got on. It wasn't really stupid. You were just showing me your enthusiasm. <laughs> Here's the fist pump from hell. <laughs> Did I get you? <laughs> you can hear it. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you see me like, I'm like looking around for something to punch. And then I saw you. <laughs> but no trees. No trees. I was like, all right, Nick. <laughs> let me see that again. <laughs> it looks like Nick's the one. <laughs> hey, let me waylay you. I'm walking around looking for something. There he is. <laughs> Look, you hear all my knuckles crack. <laughs> like it breaks its hand. I'm sorry. As soon as it happened out, that was my first thought. I was like, I might have just got a finger broke, but I don't know because everything just went numb immediately. <laughs> What's that? Pop. What's going on? I'm just standing by a fire watching Jake. J he's jerking the britches off this thing. There you go. <laughs> Me and Keith just sitting here on the picnic table in shorts. <laughs> Cooking. Yeah. Yep. Drinking a couple of beer in shorts and sweating. Living the dream. Well, tell us the story. What, what happened? What? Uh, well, we we went to a, a nine-man playoff football game and started meeting a lot of landowners and went through our buddy and that we'd made and uh, got permission on just about everything this side of the Mississippi River. <laughs> and... <laughs> so we were actually on the public we've been hunting and they just we decided to drop into this draw and uh i mean we weren't 200 300 yards into it jake picked over a little knob and there was a buck bedded a couple first downs and some change away from us uh and we just i mean it happened in about 45 seconds he said there's a buck right here at 22 yards and Zach's over his shoulder and I'm filming him from just like, I'm right beside him three or four yards away, filming him from the side. And this buck just stands up and he shot him right in the throat patch and he wadded up like a 50 cent lawn chair and just lay down. It just happened that quick after all that time. It, it can happen <laughs> just that fast. 15 minutes exactly, Zach said. 15 minutes? Yeah. From the time he spotted him until the time yeah. he shut my recorder off. So only 15 Yeah, about minutes. 15 minutes. So. Let's not take a step. 
<laughs> no, he doesn't do anything but fall backwards. I thought when I looked at that picture, it looked like a shot in the throat. Right in his throat. <laughs> right in the jugular. Right in the jugular. <laughs> a lot of blood. <laughs> Lots of blood. Yeah, I saw that in the picture too. You ought to clean that up, I guess. Mm -hmm. But right now, we're just standing aside, watching Jake work, shouting words of encouragement. Yeah, is there anything else I can say to help you? Yeah, because I'll say anything. <laughs> Thing you want me to say, I'll say. Yeah. <laughs> Buggy and miserable and all that good stuff. But When's the cold front hitting there? Here. <laughs> yeah, it's actually very similar to the weather here. Well, that's the story. That's what we got. All right, carry on. All right, well, we'll hop you later. Bye. <laughs> it's been a day. I'm having a day. Phenomenal. Phenomenal day. Phenomenal Jake, move. Texas, Jake killed. The horns won. I mean, I couldn't be any happier. If I was doing any better, there'd be two of me standing here. All right, so we're reorganizing. Jake's cleaning the deer, taking the meats off and deboning it. But if you guys haven't entered our giveaway, we're doing our biggest giveaway that we've ever done. There's tons of cool stuff in there. A bunch of stuff from our partners, the list will we can pop it up on the screen. But I mean, it's definitely worth entering. There's no charge to you, but if you want an extra entry, I think if, if you spend more than $25. Yeah, I think every $25 you spend on the website, you get an additional entry. So one little thing that we'll talk about real quick, these, these Dakota Lithium things, we have several different little Dakota Lithium power boxes. They're insane. They work so good for charging our cameras, our laptops, anything that you would need to charge when you're on we a hunting trip. If you ever camping, it's like a super valuable, if you do a bunch of it, it's super valuable for that. Like, yeah. It'll last, sometimes it'll last a whole trip for us. So. Yeah. So if you haven't entered the giveaway, make sure you do that. And I think up next, these guys are gonna go do the Iowa muzzleloader season. Big thanks to everybody that uh, helped us out on this trip. The locals were super friendly to us. We had a lot of fun hanging out with everybody and we're excited to come back in the future someday. So thanks for watching North Dakota. We'll see you on the next trip. He's up, he's up. Hit him. Heard it hit. I heard it hit him. Dropped him.